Today, I want to speak about the political intrigues going on in the county of Nyamira on the impeachment motion, purported impeachment motion by the MCS of Nyamira County. And I want to bring to light their underdealings in the said impeachment motion. The MCS told the people of Nyamira that today, Friday, they were supposed to be sitting in the assembly to taper a motion of impeachment against the governor. That motion was not tapered. The same same MCS have gone back telling the people of Nyamira that now they had made errors on the motion and they are going to taper the motion on Tuesday. As the first senator of Nyamira, I want to bring to light the underdealings in the said impeachment motion. What's going on is not an impeachment motion against the governor, it's politics. Clan politics, nepotism, and clanism. The governor of Nyamira impeached a CEC who was culpable. The CEC for health misappropriated funds meant for medical equipment and drugs for the people of Nyamira. When the governor realized that there are mistakes, he impeached or rather sacked the state CEC on the basis of misappropriation of funds and failure to comply with the constitution, specifically chapter six. The MCS who are saying they want to impeach the governor have not shown any constitutional threshold. I've looked at the documents, they are tabling, they are talking that uh, there are no drugs in the hospitals, a very flimsy ground. They are talking about passeries, there is no documentary evidence that the governor or his officers misappropriated funds. The same same MCAs have grouped up with the political failures, those who failed to beat the governor in the last general elections. The group of failures I brought MCAs from hotel to hotel, from Kericho, Kisumu, Mombasa, and Nairobi. So my plea to the people of Nyamira, do not be hoodwinked by these MCAs. These are self-seekers. And on Tuesday, as a first senator, as a lawyer, a constitutional lawyer who understands procedure, the said MCAs are lying to the people that they have signed 28 signatures. In my custody, I've retrieved 15 signatures from the clerk of the county of Sembrum Yamira. So the 28 they are talking about is all Udu Ogiwash to Uduing the people of Yamira. Those failures who failed to beat Governor Amos Nyaribo have regrouped. They have a few coins here and there, which they are moving to bribe the so-called MCAs. The work of the MCAs is oversight. They have not summoned any CEC to the counter assembly. They have not tabled any evidence on the constitutional culpability against the governor. We are watching, we are waiting on Tuesday, but let this MCS be warned that we are keenly watching. And soon or later, the chickens will come home to roost. Thank you.